Hey everyone, I'm Zoc Lee and welcome to another Space Engineers update video. This week's update contains more improvements and tweaks for block models. For example, axles on all-wheel suspension blocks have been made thicker, which makes wheeled vehicles look much sturdier. There's been changes to the air tightness of some blocks. This includes the merge block, timer block and oxygen generator now being airtight from all sides. Also, some block icons and all component icons have been updated. New behaviours have been added to Drone AI which can be accessed via the visual scripting tool. Firstly, there's now expanded possibilities with how drones handle weapons. You can set up which weapons they can use, how often they use them and whether they check for obstacles before firing, be it grids or voxels. For example, they could be set up to not use rocket launchers before a player is hidden behind voxel. Secondly, you can activate a new ambush behaviour. This will make a drone wait until it's actually able to shoot a target before engaging. Please continue to give feedback on the visual scripting tool as we really want to maximise its potential. Moving on, we're very pleased to announce that the single most requested feature for the programmable block is here. We said it wasn't going to happen, but programmable blocks now have the ability to communicate between grids. This means you can open the hangar door from your fighter or even trigger self-destruct remotely. We're very excited to see what the community can create with this. Check our forums for a guide on this new feature. In other news, as some of you may know already, our sister company, Good AI, who is developing general artificial intelligence, is organising a series of challenges starting early this year, with prizes totalling at least $5 million to help accelerate the search for general AI. If you are a programmer, STEM student, or just happen to have an interest in this area and want to participate, visit the website in the description below for more information. Next week, we are planning to do a live stream on the Keen Community Network, where together with playing and discussing our games, we will be sharing more details about the challenge. So stay tuned. But that's all from me today. If you're interested in the full list of bug fixes, tweaks, and improvements in this update, please see the change log on our forums. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next week. And here's a fun fact to end on. It's more likely to be struck by lightning on your birthday than it is to become an astronaut at NASA.